Last time I talked about Tech Packer in this video, I went through just about everything you need to put together your Tech Pack and send it out. But I didn't go through one thing, adding the measurements, the spec sheet. And as promised, I'm going to go through that today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. A key piece of the tech pack is the measurements. And it's something that a lot of my students have trouble with. They're unsure how to get the measurements, how to create a spec sheet, what they should be measuring. It's one of those technical skills that once you learn how to do it, it's not really that hard, but you usually need some type of guidance. One thing I really like about Tech Packer is that it allows you to create libraries for your measurements so that once you add a POM, a point of measurement, you can save it in your library and quickly add it to a similar style. It's definitely a huge time saver. So I'm going to show you how to add the measurements to your Tech Pack, and I'm going to use the top I was previously working on. And then I'm also going to show you how you can reuse the POMs in a new Tech Pack. The first thing you need to do is add the base measurements. And the base measurements or base specs are those must have measurements for a particular type of garment. So for instance, this is a knit top. The specs I must have are front neck drop, back neck drop, neck opening, shoulder width, across shoulder, body length from high point shoulder, chest width, waist width, sweep, armhole straight or circumference, sleeve length from center back and sleeve opening. A lot of these measurements I've already created for the sake of the video, but let me show you how to create a new one. Click the add measurement button, which will add a row to the measurement section. You can double click in the cells to type in the information or to open a separate window to add the information, click the thumbnail box. This will usually default to the image annotation section, but let's click card cover to add the title of the measurement. For this example, I'm going to add the sleeve opening and then I'll move to image annotations. Most companies will have what's called a how to measure guide that writes out and visually shows you how to measure something. So for instance, if they say the sleeve opening needs to be five inches wide, you can look at the picture to see how they measured the sleeve opening to get the five inches. This is really handy, not only if you're not as familiar with the standard methods of measuring, but also for the manufacturer to ensure that they're measuring something the way that you intended. So the image that you'd add here in image annotations would be either a photo or a sketch with arrows showing how to measure this particular POM. You can go ahead and add keywords, files, or comments that might be rel relevant to this measurement. I usually skip right to the measurement section and add the tolerance. The tolerance is how much you're willing to allow for basically human error. Clothes are sewn by people, not machines. So that means that sometimes, even though you ask for one inch, it might measure seven eighths or one and one eighth. There's no way that a human sewing the same garment over and over again will get exactly the same every time. So the tolerance is how much wiggle room you'll allow before you tell someone that they have to redo it. Now note, there are times when the tolerance will be zero and you'll say it's gotta be this length or this width, no exceptions. But for the majority of spec measurements, there's at least an eighth of an inch tolerance. Now Tech Packer does recognize fractions, so you can type in whatever your tolerance is. Make sure you don't linger when you type in that fraction because it may revert it to a whole number. And once you put in the tolerance plus measurement, it'll autofill the tolerance minus. And all the plus and minus means is that you'll allow for a measurement that's bigger or smaller than your current measurement. So for instance, if my spec measurement is one inch and my tolerance is a quarter inch, that means that when I measure the actual sample, I will accept a measurement that's as small as three quarters and as large as one and a quarter. Here, you can also add in your actual measurement for the sample size, which for me is the medium. 
And don't worry about adding in numbers for the other sizes. Those will auto populate once you add grade rules. Okay, so now you've got your measurements in. The other thing you'd wanna add are design measurements. And those are the measurements that are not standard, that are unique to your design. Now, I don't add these to the spec sheet because they're not standard. What I usually do is create a design measurements page. And there's a few ways that you could address this, but what I do in TechPacker is I add the design measurements page to the sketches. So scroll back to the sketches section, add a sketch, label it design measurements or front design measurements or back design measurements, whatever it is, and add the sketch. This next part is what I really like about doing a spec in Tech Packer, and it's going to really save you some time the next time you have to do a spec. These basic specs are necessary for any knit top. So it would make sense that you'd establish a knit top spec template, right? Well, that's pretty much what you can do with Tech Packer libraries. To save POMs in a library, first select them all, then click the libraries icon at the top of the screen. To create a new library for your measurements, click the three dots and choose create library. Give the library a name and from the drop down list, select the type of library, sketches, materials, measurements, then click create. Now drag and drop the selected specs into the library. Before it creates that library, another window will appear. This window will allow you to uncheck any POM information you may not want included in the library. Also, one tip, this step will save all of the information you've added to that POM. So you may want to save these in your library before adding actual spec measurements. Otherwise, whatever measurement you added to that spec will also be saved in the library. Now, for those of you working on your own line, that may be helpful because you won't have to repopulate your specs with basic measurements. But if you're a freelancer or an agency who works with multiple brands and this is your generic template, you may wanna leave the measurements blank. But now that they're here, it's so easy to drag and drop them into the measurement section of your tech pack. So if I'm adding measurements to my tech pack and I know I already have some basic measurements saved in my library for that type of style, I can just click the library icon, choose a library, and then drag and drop them individually, select several at a time or select all of them. And knowing that measurements are probably one of the most time consuming parts of the tech pack for designers, having the library cut significant time off of tech pack creation. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the links in the description to try or sign up for Tech Packer. If you aren't quite ready to sign up just yet, you can download my free Excel Tech Pack template. And of course, check out more videos on this channel for additional Tech Pack tips. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you next time.